Hey, so I just wanted to share a message really quick. Um, to become a soldier, every soldier has to go through basic training. Um, you have to literally be broken down to be built back up. You have to persevere through feelings of loneliness, being away from your loved ones, self-doubt, not sure if you're going to complete basic training, if you're going to get through it, um, physical and mental pain. You have to really endure the most, but that's so you're prepared for battle. That's because when you're finished with basic training and you go to war, you're going to be ready because you've seen it all. We can't have weak soldiers on the battlefield, okay? And it's the same with God. It's the exact same thing with God. We are in the biggest war of all time. This is more than World War III, World War IV, any nuclear war could ever be, okay? Because like it says in Ephesians 6, 12, let me read this here. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. We are in the biggest war ever. We were chosen specifically to be alive during this time. That's why life isn't easy. That's why you had to go through some things so that you could get through some things because God has a plan for your life. He put you in the last days. That is an honor. We are here to build his kingdom up. We are here in a battle, okay? We had to persevere so that we can be tough and eligible for the fight, man, because it is going down, but we have Jesus on our side. The darkness bows at the name of Jesus. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. He is going to provide and protect, but he has to put us through some things. So then when it comes down, you know, it comes down to the get down, we're ready and we're prepared. Okay. Hallelujah, man. We are blessed. And, and if it hasn't ended you, it's never going to end you. God got you, man. We're, we're in this. We're in this together. We're a family. Praise God. Praise God.